Ark of the Covenant, pray for us. My dear brothers and sisters, today the church invites us to celebrate with Mary, our mother, the Immaculate Conception of Mary. Through this feast, the church reminds us that Mother Mary, from her birth, was preserved by God from the stain of original sin. This he did to prepare a place for his son to take birth as the savior of humankind. God chose Mary to be the Ark of his covenant. We declare, pronounce and define that the doctrine which asserts that the Blessed Virgin Mary from the first moment of her conception by a singular grace and privilege of Almighty God and in view of the merits of Jesus Christ, Savior of the human race, was preserved free from every stain of original sin, is a doctrine revealed by God and for this reason must be firmly and constantly believed by all the faithful. With these words, in 1854, Pope Pius IX declared Mary's Immaculate Conception to be a dogma. In the Old Testament, God commanded Moses to build an ark that was the sign of the covenant between God and his chosen people, Israel. And inside the ark were the two tablets that God gave to the Israelites through Moses, which contained God's commandments. Thus, the ark became the ark of the covenant for the people of Israel. This ark was not to be carried by those with the stain of sin, since the ark itself was considered holy. In the New Testament, Mary became the ark of the covenant for us. She carried in her womb not the tablets of God's commandments, but God himself. She was holy because God preserved her from sin and chose her to be the mother of his son. God, who is holy, cannot take human body from a sinful person, for that would make God imperfect with sin. Therefore, Mary was sinless by the grace of God, and this is clear from the greeting of angel Gabriel at the time of Annunciation, when he said, Hail, full of grace. My dear brothers and sisters, God chose Mother Mary and preserved her from sin, so that she could carry his son Jesus in her womb. We are in the season of Advent, a season of grace. So let's ask God to keep us away from every temptation and sin in our everyday life, that we too may become worthy to carry His Son in our hearts and welcome Him with whole heart on Christmas Day. <laughs> <laughs>